the key reason we do like uh, workouts, pre-workouts before the season start to get your body used to, you know, of any type of uh, whatever sports you're playing in, is to make you stronger, flexible, and faster so that when you do get hurt or injury, you, you, how can I put it, you heal quickly. If you listen to your coach and learn the proper techniques that they teach you in whatever sport, whether it's from basketball, football, track, or whatever, um, you can avoid the injury. Now, when you come to a physical contact sport, uh, the key thing is to make sure that you're stronger so that, like in hockey, if you get checked, it really doesn't affect you as much because you, your body's strong enough to within those type of uh, blows. I guess depending on what sport you're in, um, like for I'm a running coach, um, so we like to we like to get base mileage in. Um, so during the season when you start to really pound the pavement and, and you're running a lot, um, your body is kind of used to that if you have, if you have your base mileage in. Um, also core work. Um, everything stems from your core. So if you have a strong core, then uh, during your season you're more likely going, going to not see injury. Uh, to be honest with you, I see more ACL injuries versus concussions. And I think we see more of that, of the rise of the ACL, is because of your your, your fields. Uh, when fields was all grass, uh, ACL was very, you, you didn't hear much about ACLs. Because when you plant your foot, the grass and the dirt gives, so that allows your your ankle, whatever joints do not to lock up. So you would never tear an ACL, LCR, or none of your ligaments. But as we move more into the 21st century and we're into the turf, uh, artificial turf era, then you see more of those ligaments. So that's what I see. I see more ligament issues, uh, injuries than I do. Hmm, that is a good, question because I'm seeing more and more injuries for ACL again and I see them in all sports. I've seen them in the soccer, I've seen them in the basketball and I probably say probably averaging probably one kid a year in each sport. Well um, being a running coach the most uh, common injury I see are shin splints um, when, we're, when we're out um, pounding the pavement again you're putting a lot of pressure on your um, kind of your, your lower part of your body, so you're seeing uh, knees, hips, and a lot of uh, shin injuries as well.